Hey everybody, it's February 12th. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. I, uh, I'm having a great brother on um, who we're gonna be jamming about all kinds of things. We're gonna be talking about a scale your story workshop that we are, uh, him and I are putting together. We're also gonna be talking about uh, real estate investing and just where some of the trends are going for 2021. Um, and so Ellis, welcome to the Better Wealth Show, man. It's so good to have you on. Dude, love being here. I don't know if Mariah can pull up that slide again of the intro, but I'm always amazed just how pulsating those blue eyes are, man. Anytime I see that photo, I mean, it. look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I didn't know I was so uh, intimidating. I'm like, man, like that's a, uh, I think we use that photo because it, it's the only photo that makes me look a little older than 16. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, about, but yeah, it's like, I think we definitely overuse that. Oh, <laughs> but man. dude, I want to I give a little backstory on how we met because I'm pumped to talk about the Scale Your Story workshop. I'm pumped to, to hear more about what you're doing. I'm honored to be a speaker at your mastermind. What, you, what you've done in the last year, dude, has been unbelievable. And I hope that you can talk a little bit about that because I definitely have an audience of people that love real estate. Um, but we met in Austin about a year, uh, actually a year ago. So I've known, known yeah. you a little bit over a year. And we, we met and I knew of you. It's, it's so funny because I starred your name as someone that I wanted to be on your podcast. <laughs> I'm like this guy, kingdom capitalist, like, or that was what it was called at the time. I know that's changed. I'm like, I, I very much like I resonate with that. And we met at this dinner party and I got to hear your story. And I got to share mine. And I think we just knew at that time. We're like, okay, yeah, hundred percent. What's, what's next? Like, we're going to, we're just going to be brothers. Um, and I consider you a, a dear friend, a, a brother. So thank you for just being that in my life. And so through that, you know, I've, I've been a, on your podcast. I've uh, been able to speak at your mastermind. I'm glad to have you here. And now we're hosting a workshop built around story, built around helping people scale their story. I'm just pumped about that, by the way. And, and then also you're like, you're going like from zero to hero over like a record time. And I don't mean zero as in like, but like in the real estate world, it's not like zero. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good way of putting it. I mean, I came from the bottom for sure. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, that's my story. <laughs> not, not from like self worth, but like in the real estate world, you are a nobody. And now I was also, my net worth was also zero. So, no, trust me, everything is, <laughs> everything is at zero. <laughs> but, but you actually used what we're going to be like. The reason why this, this scale your story workshop is going to be so interesting is we're going to have three. I mean, I don't want to brag about uh, like what we've been able to do at Better Wealth, but like we've taken our businesses and taken it to the next level because we understand story and stages and it's pretty powerful. So with that, dude, I put the bar up high. So don't, 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 yeah. uh, don't yeah, make yeah, I better get it up. Uh, <laughs> dude, Dan, so man, by weird. the way, right hand Dan is watching. He said, Ellis is a legend. So he's just <laughs> increasing the bar even there more. It is. There it is. Don't, there it is. Uh, don't mess this up, bro. Listen, man. I mean, we, you know, we could talk about a lot of things. Yes, I'm a full time real estate investor. I, I was actually a former missionary and pastor. So, there's missionaries don't have net worths. That's not not part of the the qualification to be a missionary. And so, um, literally started from the bottom. And the only and we didn't set out to become a millionaire. We just said we needed a better vehicle to build and create wealth in. And real estate became that vehicle. Um, you know, now we have. 200 plus investors were buying large apartment buildings and in the way I was able to break in this industry. And this is what we're talking about today. And we're doing a workshop on this is, you know, I see so many people trying to come into this industry and lead with product. Here's the thing about real estate. It hasn't changed in a hundred years. And so I didn't come into this, this industry and say, Hey, we're doing something brand new in the world of multifamily investing. Um, we buy large apartment buildings that cash flow and double to triple your money in five to seven years like everyone else. What has given me such a boost and given me such a rise in this industry is that I have learned um, that I am not going to reach everyone and I don't want to reach everyone. That my story of a pastor and missionary and how I'm using the vehicle of real estate to now impact and transform people's life uh, for Christ doesn't resonate with everyone, but guess what? It resonates with a few. And um, in this industry, you don't need 10,000 investors. You need a couple hundred at, to do really big things. And so we just got really clear on, listen, we're not, we're going to come and talk about real estate. We're going to come in and talk about why we're buying real estate and, and what we're going to do as a result in the lives of people and our investors. 
And that just set us apart, man. Like, yeah. you know, there's a reason why I can, I can speak on some of these massive stages with people who have hundreds of millions of dollars on their assets. And yeah. I know we're close and, and the people call me afterwards, not them. Yeah. Right. And it's, and it's not because of products, not because of experience. It's because like, I'm, I'm speaking to you, one yeah. person in the stage in the audience. And, and that's all I need two or three people every time. Well, Come man, on, let's do it. Let's do it. I, 100% resonate with that because why in the world are people working with me? You yeah. know, you know, it's like you have, you could choose from a sea of people that have been in the business longer than I've been alive. And yep. yet we're growing in it. It's just, it goes one of those things of like, understand the power of story, but then also understand how to speak to people there. We, we live in a world and so does the real estate industry. It's like they, it's, everything's focused on a product. And that becomes a metric. And I think one thing that you've done really well and what we strive to do at Better Wealth is like y intentional living is a metric. Is it's what do you actually want is the metric. Not like you you said it, real estate is it turns into a commodity if that's what you're battling. Um, and so uh, so before we get into the the details of the scale your story, because there's there's some people watching this right now or or going to be watching this after the fact that are like, I want to go to San Diego and be in a room. And, and the reason why we're sharing this is like, I want people to know about this because there's, there's, there's that one or two per people. And I think we probably have like five or six spots. And so we'll it, definitely, you can email me at Caleb at better .com If that's something that you're like open to, or you're like interested, it's, Almost filled, but we have a couple spots. Yeah, that listen, there's no clip. Come if you if you want help growing and marketing your story, winning stages, and growing your business. If you want to grow your business in 2021, you need to get on stages and you yep. need to get on stages with a powerful story. And so we have a jam up room in San Diego happening two days. Yep. Email Caleb. I we will discount. We're listen. We've sold tickets for a thousand bucks for this. That's how good this is going to be. And I think Caleb, we got it for you. Like it's a couple hundred dollars to come or something ridiculous. Yeah. So like just, yeah. it's going to be good. Yep. So, so you can email me at Caleb betterwealth.com. Let's, let's go and let's talk about the kingdom REI mastermind first. Just, okay. I want to give, I just, I think it's so impressive what you guys have done. Yeah. And then, then let's, let's talk a little bit more about the details and about what we're going to be hosting. Yeah. Kingdom REI is a mastermind community. It's a collaborative community of, of faith driven Christ-centered real estate operators that want to build excellent businesses uh, for the glory of God and the good of others really is, is what we're about. And so we have 25 members now. We're managing about $2 billion worth of commercial real estate assets between our members, our board of advisors. And really, man, the way I explain it when people are interested in this, like, well, what is what is this thing? Like, what is Kingdom REI when I'm trying to sell, sell the mastermind to a potential member is I'm like, you know, and this always resonates because if it doesn't resonate with the person, I know they're not, I know they're not qualified or they, they shouldn't be in this mastermind. I said, have you ever felt like you're the only person in your church that really loves Jesus, but is incredibly ambitious uh, to grow and scale your business or to create capital for influence? And yet you have no one to talk to. And if they say, yes, I know exactly how that feels. I'm like, okay, great. Then we should talk about the mastermind and say, no, I'm like, well, <laughs> then, don't, then don't worry about what Kingdom REI is because <laughs> that's what we've, that's what we created. I was a pastor and missionary. I started investing in real estate and I, I, and I looked for a community of peers and advisors to help me with both of these things that they didn't have to feel so disconnected, right? Between my, my passion for entrepreneurship and business and my also love for Jesus and so what does any good entrepreneur do? You start it. And um, so, yeah, man, we've, we have an amazing family of folks. We do, you know, we have some virtual things. We have in-person events, but really just a community and a resource. The cool thing about commercial real estate, you know, because these are big deals that there's margin, yeah. there, there's room to share. And so it's a really cool way, you know, to, to grow fast in this industry. It's, you don't have to have everything. Maybe you have the deal or maybe you have the capital, you know, and and, yeah. and so it, it only takes kind of one connection point to really um, to make a big investment worth yeah. it. And so that's what we've created. Well, I, had the, I had the pleasure of being with you guys in San Diego and and speaking at, at the mastermind that you had there. And one word that comes to my mind is abundance. Like that room was filled of people that had the abundance mindset. You know how it's like, I'm not going to share this, like, because this yeah. is my secret. No, there, there's so much out there. I think there's so many people that don't even know that, like, real estate syndication exists. Yeah. And so I think that was one of the big takeaways that you've had this last year. It's like, 
we live in a little bubble. Yeah. Majority of people, like we're not competing against the other real estate investors, no. competing against investor ignorance. Yeah. You know, hundred so, percent. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, I just sat in front of a room of sixty people the last couple of days, and like three people have someone showing them private real estate offerings. Yeah. Um, the crowd is no one sees this stuff. I mean, you're a financial advisor. You're in this industry. I mean, most people listening to this might be, let's be honest, there, the, there's a probably a very small percentage of even your industry that you know what, that one knows what it is also, do you, yep. you know, but also even a smaller percentage that can show it to clients. And so yep. if the majority of the folks listening to this are, are who is are, who are advising investors and yep. you can't, sh literally most folks, it's not that you don't think real estate's a good idea, just sometimes you can't show it because it's yep. not on the market or whatever. Right. That limits you know, that, that limits the availability for, for yep. investors. And so absolutely. So let's, let's talk about the, the scale, scale your story. And then what I want to finish on is I actually want you to give a little real estate lesson. I know that you're in the process of building a, a fund and as a disclaimer, cause I have to say this now is like, I, Ellis would not be on here if I didn't love him and trust him. This is not investment advice. I have to be very frank with that. Um, but I definitely want to give you a platform where you can share that because I think yeah. there's some people listening to this that would just be interested in learning more about the industry and maybe interested in learning more about what you're up to. Let's talk about February 26 and 27. So that's a Friday and a Saturday. We're actually going to be getting an intimate room um, where we're bringing it's Ellis, myself, and a good friend of ours, Jimmy Nelson. And Jimmy's a real rock star because he he's, he like has trained some of the best of the best speakers. And actually personally been trained by, I think, one of the best uh, speaking coaches out there. I've, I've paid over 50K just to learn about how to craft the message and win stages from this. And people might say, like, that's crazy, Caleb. Well, I invest in things that are revenue producing. Yeah. And I, I, I look back on all the opportunities that have come from just understanding that your message matters and how to scale the stage. And it's incredible. Um, and so with that, um, what like when it comes to scaling your story, I know it's last minute, February 26th and 27th. Uh, I know we already have quite a few people, but there's there's always that those couple spots. And the reason why we're having this is I know that there's people in my community alone that I just want to make aware. Um, yep. Talk ab about what why you're excited to have this and why in the world are we all partnering together to do this workshop? I mean, stories changed my life. You just heard it. Like, how does a missionary compete with some of the biggest players in the industry? It's not based on a good website or a good um, product. I mean, you have to have excellent product to sustain a business. Please hear me on that um, for repeat business. But it's like, especially in 2021, I mean, look at all of the big, massive brands out there. You know, like, what are they, what do they have now? They have personal, like, um, people, I mean, look at State Farm in the State Farm commercials, right? Aaron right. Rodgers and Jake from State Farm. They have personal brands, right? right? Why? Because they know that people resonate and want to do, they, they, people want to do business with people that they resonate with. Yep. And so if your story is not resonating with folks, then you are missing out on so much business. And I think most people, and I say this because I did this too, you're so scared or we're so scared of offending or turning people away. And it's yeah. crushing your business. Like you are missing out on so much opportunity um, because your your brand is, it's not, I always say this, it's not compelling or it's not repelling. And yeah. it's got to be both of those, both compelling and repelling that your brand literally should turn people away because it's that clear on, hey, this is who we work with and this is who we don't work with. And therefore people are really clear like, okay, yeah, that's me or that's not me. And um you know, and so and so much so in the world of financial advising and, and investing, like we think we want to go after everybody. And I'm like, no, you don't. Like, yeah, you may not want. Like, we don't want to go after. You know, the. I mean, yeah. so anyways, that's that's why this is so massive, man, to get clear on this because this alone, ex learning your story, and then what we're gonna talk about day two, right? Getting on a stage, yeah. which that's yeah, that's go gonna be huge. So it's not just crafting your story. It's okay now that I got the story. Cool, what do I do with it. Well, yeah. we're going to show you exactly how to go get in front of massive audiences without leaving your home. I mean, yeah. literally, I've spoken, I've spoken on, dude, I've probably spoken to like 50,000 people this year Yeah, in my, not underwear, but in my athletic shorts. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, don't put the camera down below the, uh, yeah, literally. So, yeah. um, yeah. 
I know, man. I, I spoke to 700 people virtually yesterday. Yeah. Like, think about think about the cost that that would be to just to like go and actually speak in front of a room of 700 people. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of logistics, webcam, like yeah. done. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, one of the one of the things that I'm most excited about. Um, Jimmy is like the master at crafting the story. And so he's very much going to be owning day one where I think you and I can add a lot of value is like, what is a stage? I, I think a stage is one to many. Okay. So it could be a stage could be as simple as like a, a little mastermind group, a Facebook group, a niche podcast. Like I, I would, one of my best podcasts I've ever been on was an HVAC podcast. Hmm. Why? Because you have a bunch of people doing you know, HVACs, which I'm not even fully sure what that is. And they're like, Hey, I need a money person. And so it was like, bam, like that was amazing. And we got to speak about things that were really valuable and it was intriguing, but we actually got to serve people. And so it was like, when you start understanding like the world of podcast, YouTube channels, Facebook groups, you yep. start understanding the under uh, of like other people that have influence. And then you understand you can get like creative and send socks and send video cards because now you, you don't need to necessarily try to win everybody. You just got to win the person that's controlling the stage. Like, it's just, there's little things that I go, I am like that. It will take your business to the next level. If you just understand the value of a stage, the value of a message and the value of well, uh, value creation when yeah. you're on the stage. Um, and so I'm excited for day two, really. It's taking yeah. like, okay, how do, how do you actually start making money from this? It's going to yeah. be a, it's going to be a blast. Yeah, I'm bringing my podcast mic, dude, because I want to interview people right there, get on my stage right away. So, you know, you come here, we're going to put you on yeah. stages. You'll meet with other hosts to podcast. Like, this is going to be a hands on. I mean, this is not some come learn some good ideas and walk away. Like, no, we're doing stuff. We're taking action uh, while we're there. So, yeah. um, we're seriously committed to helping people grow and scale their businesses okay. this, this year. I love it. I mean, my, I'll put it this way, man. My mastermind community, which is fifteen thousand um, dollars, are will be at this. Will be yeah. here, right. So this is, and I, I don't even know. I think maybe, like I said, we have a couple of tickets left for a couple hundred bucks. So, yeah, the the value is no brain. As in, e email me at Caleb at BetterWealth dot com. Say something about scale your story or something, and we'll definitely give you more information. That's yep. Friday the 26th of February <laughs> and Saturday the 27th and it's in San Diego uh, which you guys aren't fully locked down so it's it's going to be good right the weather's amazing yeah yeah listen I'm in Texas right now and it's going to get one degree here one that's a single digit um I mean I don't even know like I'm so scared of like what's going to happen being in a one degree weather come to San Diego the weather is perfect we literally will probably go to the beach I mean we're probably oh, going to do a VIP night like yeah. on a boat somewhere. So just, yeah, it's going to be great. All right. So let me know if you have any more questions. I want to go now into real estate. There's, what is it about real estate, man? Like people, like I think Robert Kiyosaki wrote the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it's just gave people like, man, like real estate's the end all be all. And then as you, as you study it, it's like, yes, it can be. And there's a lot of people that are in the space that are not like doing it right. So yeah. what was so interesting to me, being a money person, this last year I'm learning about syndications and about some of the benefits of that. I'm like, man, this is this is interesting. And for the person that's not like, like for the person that wants to do real estate but doesn't necessarily want to fix toilets, it may be the thing that they need to focus on. And then obviously you're you are just one of the most connected people in less than a year or, or a little over a year because of of just your mastermind and all that all those things. Yeah. So can you give me a little overview of like what do you do? If you're a, an investor that's sitting on cash, like what what are like the pros and cons? And then give a little bit of information about cool. the fund that you're working on. I just I want to think about like what's happening in our economy right now, right? Yep. We are since 2012, between 2012 and 2020, um, there's a couple of two big factors here. I think um 10 million new households have been formed since 2012. Okay, so you think about millennials, Gen Zs, people kind of starting establishing. Since that same time frame, only about six million new households have been or new homes have been created, single family homes. So, in terms of keeping up with the amount of households forming and affordable housing being built, we're way behind. Then put into play the current housing boom, where where housing now literally is out of the equation for 90 percent of americans i mean how many people you know this number probably off the top of your head have thirty thousand dollars in the bank right now 
Yeah, not very many. Yeah. Very few, right? So you have a shortage of housing. You have an expensive housing market, literally the highest. I mean, we're at the top. We've never been this high, right? So you have a lack of affordable housing. And so where does that push most people for the long-term future? Into rental affordable housing in America. And so this is kind of where we're at right now. Um, in terms of where do you want to be at for the next decade? Well, you want to be in rental real estate. That's what you want to own. And you you don't want to be at the luxury, right? You want to be in a place where middle-class America can afford rent um, that has been strong for a long time. And so that's what we do. We buy large apartment buildings, um, affordable apartment buildings, kind of $900 to $1,500 rents. Um, and we raise money from investors and we give them private shares in our deals. So they actually own real estate with us. They have a share in our in our property. And so because they're an owner, instead of like investing in a REIT, which is a paper asset, yeah. you actually have a share of the real estate. So then you get to take advantage of one of the major benefits of owning real estate, which is depreciation. And so you can use that against the income, against other capital gains, um, and yet, but you're completely passive because our team is really managing, controlling the deal. So yeah. it's a beautiful way to own real estate and yet stay focused on what you're doing. And so, you know, our minimum investment typically starts around a hundred grand. So this is for folks who are, who've already doing well, you yeah. know, they probably have a million dollars in net worth at least, and they can invest in stuff like this, uh, but they just don't have the time to do yeah. that. So that's kind of. That's okay. kind of what we do. Yeah. Talk, talk a little bit about depreciation because I think that is the quote unquote secret to this whole thing. Obviously, like what are the the rates and cash flow rates of return? Like I, you can't promise anything, but like what are some of the projections? What's like standard? But then the depreciation, i.e. I, if you're someone that has $100,000 to invest, you, pro, you may have a tax like problem potentially. And a lot of our clients that do real estate syndications don't pay any taxes because because of what Alice is about to share with you. Well, the reason, so there's a distinction there. Um, and the reason the guys who, like myself, who don't pay any taxes ever is because we're, we are considered real estate professionals. Yeah. So um, we can use the depreciation against ordinary income, um, which is very nice. So we can use, and we get massive amounts of depreciation in large commercial buildings because of one, something called a cost segregation study. And then, something called bonus depreciation, which Trump enacted. It's essentially an accelerator for yep. depreciation, right? So depreciation in real estate is like 30 years. Well, bonus depreciation allows us to like speed it all up and put it in year one. So like, it's like a jackpot of depreciation. Amazing. Um, the, so the reason why we don't pay taxes is because we can use that against ordinary income. Now, in a regular investor, it still is beneficial to you because you can still use depreciation against the income off the real estate. So virtually when you invest in our deals, you're getting tax free income. So we're, yeah. we're giving you the proceeds from the, from the apartment complex and you're getting that money and you're using depreciation to offset that. So you're not paying taxes on that virtually speaking. And then what's typically there's a lot more above and beyond that. You can use that against other passive income or even to offset other capital gains. And so um, that's a that's a huge benefit for a lot yeah. of investors. Yeah. So so Ellis, if people are like, I want to learn more, I want to learn more about what you're up to and about real estate syndication. What's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Yeah. Go to. Uh, well, text me six one nine seven nine seven six two one three. I mean, if they know you, they know me six one nine seven nine seven six two one three. That is my actual phone number. It's not a bot. Um, or go to ellishammond.com and there's a partner form there. There's a quick questionnaire. I need a couple of questions from you and then you can schedule a call that way. So you got to get on the phone with me. Honestly, I, I want to yep. do deals with people I, I, I like and I trust and are ready to do. There, there's a little bit of a qualification process, right? Not, not just anyone can invest in these type of deals. So there's a net worth piece, there's a suitability piece, but for the most part, you know, everyone wants to do this, but it's can you and um, but it doesn't take that much to get qualified. And then when we have the opportunity, it's it's you know, you got to be ready to act. Incredible, man. Yeah, dude, I appreciate you spending time. I'm excited to be in San Diego with you and sharing the 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 good, the bad, the ugly about all the things that we've learned these last couple of years and just whether it's ministry, which, by the way, you want to talk about real being scrappy and winning stages. I think I think the people that are in ministry are like entrepreneurs with no economic ups upside. And, and so I think it's, I think 
remarkably um, talented. And so that definitely gave you a ton of experience. It's pretty cool that you can lean back into that as you go forward, building your mastermind and, and, and raising money and all those things. And so, um, yes, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of work behind the scenes that you've been doing. And, and I just, I've talked to a couple of people that know you as a friend and they're like, Ellis is a real deal. Like I have not met a single person that's like bad mouth you, um, which is just another, just attribute of your character. Like how you show up regardless of where you are really authentic. And there's, there's something to say about being authentic always is probably one of your greatest attributes, man. So I'm appreciate you. Um, I'm excited to do the scale, scale your story mastermind, uh, February 26th and 27th with you. Uh, I'm excited to see you continue to grow. Is there any final I mean, words? You you you're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just said, come like if you're on the fence, come to San Diego, hang out with us. It'll, it'll be worth absolutely every second of your time i'm out but again we don't have room for everyone so if you want to come <laughs> you better you better come fast um i always i always end my podcast with the legacy question and the legacy question goes like this this is your last day on earth you're with the people that you love the most including your dog <laughs> and what are you going to what are you going to share with them in that last conversation you can't give them anything other than this conversation what are you going to make sure to highlight there that's so intense man um I, I would just say like uh, two things that, uh, you know, kind of my top two on my, my list is trust God um, because he does love you and he cares for you and he wants to do life with you. And it has been the most incredible adventure to just trust God with my life and with my plans. I mean, I want my kids to really hold on to that. Like they'll take risk in life because they know that they can trust God. Um, and what he's done for us through the person of Jesus gives us all the all the trust in the world to know that he's behind us. And then my second thing, which is don't give up. Most yeah. people will accomplish what they want in life because they give up too early. And so if you trust God and, and are, are refused to give up in life, I, I truly believe you can accomplish really anything you set your mind to. Ellis, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for um, coming to Friday Live. Last minute, I always appreciate that. And I hope you stay warm in Texas. Um, I was, this may be where Colorado might beat Texas. I don't know. It's pretty cold here as well. So, uh, I think we're, we're experiencing a, a cold front in, in the United States. So anyways, thank you. Uh, make sure to reach out to Ellis if you're curious about anything real estate related. And if you're, if you're not doing anything on the 26th and 27th and want to have the time of your life, reach out to Caleb at betterwealth.com with that, having a very intentional rest of your Friday and weekend, and we'll see you Monday.